Welcome to this episode of On Photography. In this episode, I want to share with you guys a little bit about the M1's menu system. So one of the things that's not clear about this is in the instructions, which are very Chinese oriented, um, it really it's really not clear how you access the different menu functions. Now, uh, so I figured I'd kind of show you. So what you do is obviously turn on the camera, and then typically when the camera turns on, you see your regular home screen. Now what what happens is when you swipe this way you get this menu screen. Now if you notice at the bottom here it has sort of a breadcrumb set up where you have three breadcrumbs. So you can tell where you're at as you swipe through the screens. So you know here you have your scene modes where you can go from portrait, vivid, being uh, B&W and high contrast B&W. Um, but now if we swipe back this way, again, we see this moving. Now, but where are your other features? Where are your video features? How do you change video, etc.? Uh, the piece is, here's where you swipe up. And you can swipe up again. So you have three swipe ups, but there's no breadcrumbs for the swiping up. And this is where you access your other settings. So again, uh, the standard when you swipe from your main screen right you get the camera settings we can set your white balance iso and all that great stuff now to access the video what happens is you have to swipe up and this is where you can now change your video settings um, you can also go back and do time lapses and this is where all your other great stuff is and file formats so you can say you know um, you know jpeg small medium fine you can do raw that's where you do all that. And then you can go one more. And this is where you get uh, your autofocus assistant lamp, uh, auto playback, display grid, firmware information, uh, anti-shake mode is off. Now, one of the things you do is, is as you move through this dial, certain ones of these will become visible. And see, for example, here display grid comes off, display grid goes on. And if we go back up here, same thing for time lapse. So these will only work in certain modes. So as you can see, as I'm ratcheting through this or circling through this, however you want to put it, um, these are changing. So again, if you come to this and one of the uh, features is grayed out, simply try uh, going through the dial and seeing which one's set for which. Um, maybe someday I'll come up with a little bit of a matrix or something and publish it online. But anyways, uh, this is just you know, the short answer of how you access this. Because again, it's not very clear because the breadcrumbs only show three breadcrumbs. And so you think you can only go left and right. But there's also an up and down function. Now, one of the things is we go back here, there's no up or down function there. And uh, uh, let's move back here. Let's exit this mode. And then, so if we go here, there's no up or down function there. Um, here there's no up or down. So it's only in this menu pane that there's an up and down function. It would have been a little bit uh, easier if they would have defined this in the manual, but it wasn't clear. So anyways, hopefully I shared that with you guys. So if you're looking how to access your other menus on the EM1, this is how you do it. Uh, don't forget, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe's coming up over there. And hey, let me know in the comments below if you know any other trips and ticks, trips and ticks with the EM1. Really? All right. If you know any other tips and tricks, it's early in the morning with the EM1. Let me know down below. See you in the next video, guys. Cheers.